this is Saturday the 16th of November. There goes Larry, he's waving. Since my lady friends are coming for lunch, he's going to an auction. He's been counting on going to that. The weather's not going to be very good, but he decided to go anyway. I got the table ready for lunch for my friends. That's the last of the flowers that Larry gave me. I forgot to film that you were here. Oh. Well, that's true. You forgot to film the food, too. Oh. Yes. Oh. It's too late now. We yeah. love you. Love you. Thanks for coming. It was fun. I never got around to filming our lunch today, so this is what we had for dessert. It's a white jello cake. It has cherry jello in there. It's my oldest son David, his favorite. Used to be anyway. So that we ate half of it, so that's the other half. And then I had fixed chicken and noodles, green beans, and broccoli salad. So that was our lunch and I had some grapes and tea to drink. For the homecoming tomorrow I made a chocolate pie and brownies with nuts in them, pecans. Then I'm going to make some unsweet tea to take too. This is Sunday the 17th and we're on our way to church. It's homecoming Sunday. I've only been going there nine years so if we have a bunch of, or if we have members of them there from earlier, and the earlier preachers, I won't know them, but Larry will know everybody. We're here early to drop off my brownies and, yeah. and pie. Got pretty decorations. This will be where the food is served. Desserts will be here. And the tables are all set and ready. I'll have a little bouquet of flowers on each table. Well, homecoming is over and we're on our way home. We had a really good turnout. The church was full. I've never seen that many people in our church before. And there was an chair in the back and I had somebody sitting back there. And uh, the uh, dining room for the food, all the tables that I showed you were full. And we ran out of uh, table room for them so there's some people outside and some people sitting in chairs around the edges. So it was, and we had uh, three new people join the church this morning. So it was success all the way around. Thank everybody and you had a good time too. We got somebody in Joyce Lowry's toys. He's pushing the button. That's right. Okay. That, okay, let me see. Right here. You got it. Just push it. See? All of my stories, they're 95% truthful. <laughs> oh, is he still yes. sleepy? Yeah. Still sleepy? You woke up from your nap too Go soon. Push it. I'm <laughs> there, What's mommy, wrong? you can fix anything. What happened? <laughs> push it now. You can do it now. He's still not sure about it though. Mm -hmm. He don't know if he likes it or not. He likes it better than the turkey. <laughs> Want mom to find you a truck? Huh? Well, I brought your other little truck. Let me go grab your truck. Woohoo! He's got his hey, truck beep, now. Beep. And, and the TV remote. <laughs> beep, beep. Beep. Honk the horn. Say beep beep. 
Push it. Baby. Get back here. There he comes. Get back here. He grabbed a peanut from the Snickers he's chewing on. Oh, okay. Get over here. Well, we've got to go get another pine cone. <laughs> Say, who needs a truck when you can carry a broom? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, I need. Oh, <laughs> Justin's here. He's working on our gate to see if he can get some good hinges on there to hold it. It just won't stay up like a, you can see the. Taking off the old ones Larry put on. But they got it jacked up some. Those look like pretty good hinges. <laughs> now they got three hinges on. Now they got four. Bentley's going to drive the mower. Yeah. But I he likes to climb. <laughs> what are you doing? You got to put a turnbuckle on it. Crank it up. Help hold it up. Oh, that's it. Grandpa's got him driving uh, now. Vroom, vroom. That's the way mommy drives. <laughs> uh. Well, here's our gate now that it's all done. He put some extra things on there to hold the board to keep it shut. And then uh, got the new hinges all the way around and the turnbuckles. That'll keep hold that post to what it should be. So it's up off the ground just enough to keep it from dragging. So it should be good. Nice to have it all fixed. There's a red-tailed hawk that flew in and landed on our post. Just sitting there. It's a big bird. Hard to hold the camera still when it's zoomed in like that. I was just looking out the kitchen window and there you come flying by. And I already said it's a red tail, but I can't see the red. Lunch is ready. We're having potato soup. I just got his. I got mine. We got some grapes. We're here at Walmart. Larry just went in to pay his credit card bill. And then we're going to deliver the shoe boxes this morning. Well, the shoe boxes are all gone. We got them delivered. I was so busy. We were so busy unloading them and filling out the paperwork and everything that I forgot to film anything. But they'll be on their way soon. There he is. Just, uh, just as a focus, he flew. Well, he's in that limb. He just flew up four, five feet. <laughs> we're here in the auditorium. And hey, Lisa. Right down there behind that tall girl. in her class. She's getting a trophy now.
give these students another round of applause. Doctors, I went in and got my blood drawn. I wanted to check my cholesterol. That's all done. I dropped Larry off at Hardy's first, so he's waiting for me there. I got to stop at the grocery store and at the bank and then get him. I'm here at Hardy's to pick up Larry, and then I'm going to go home and have some of my homemade bread for breakfast. Well, I was weed eating along my front flower bed here because it was grown up so bad. I still got to clean it off. You know. I need to get more line. See how it's all grown up. But I already had mine in the building, so I'm going to replace it. Look how pretty my pansies are now. They're grown and big and pretty. They like this weather. Today's the last day we're going to have 70. It's going to go down. Going to go down. The leaves on our peach tree have turned, and it's looking pretty. This peach tree is a little more brown. I worked on the flower bed, but I'm quitting for now. I got all the dead out of the uh, daisies, and I cut the dead out of the lantana, trimmed back the rose, cut more dead out of the other lantana, trimmed back the azalea a little, and the phlox down on the end. It still needs mulch in it, and it'll need more dead cut out later, but that's enough for today. It's lunchtime. There was quite a bit to cut out. And I decided to get rid of my solar lights. They're just too much upkeep and I keep falling over. I'm just going to get rid of them. And I'm going to move the ferns back to the greenhouse. It's Sunday morning and we're on our way to church. I think the preacher's going to be talking about Thanksgiving this morning. That's what our Sunday school lesson's on. We made it. Here we are at church. Well, the church is over and we picked up lunch at IGA, so we're on the way home again. We're going to have to go back to the church later because I left my purse in the office. We're here at the church. Stanley opened it up and got my purse out for me. But look how pretty the wreaths are that one of the members made. There are some pretty trees by that house. Might be pear trees, but they're pretty. We're all here at the church to decorate the Christmas tree. They already got it up. Got the decorations on. Got bells on the top. That boy's got some very old Do you want to flourish as well? I can flourish as well as well. No, no, no. You keep your flourish to no. yourself. Yeah, you keep your flourish to yourself. <laughs> well, the ladder's in here to change your light bulbs. We're on our way to Mount Pleasant. Larry's got to go for a checkup for his heart. For his defibrillator. We're coming up on the bridge. Oh, we've been on the bridge. We're coming up to the pretty part of it. office that our doctor has. He gave us good instructions on how to get here. We'd never been here before. It's all nice and clean. 
we made it back to the exam room now. That's where they run the diagnostic on his defibrillator. We're going to come do another test or two before the doctor comes in. Yep. Going on to the drawbridge. There's the Ashley River. Glad to get home, get out of all this traffic. And it's not even rush hour, it's 3.01. Gets a lot worse at 4.30 and 5. The doctor said Lowry is doing really well. Everything was good, no episodes. But Lowry's been kind of tired, so they tweaked his defibrillator a little bit to give him a little more energy. So we'll see how that does. But overall, he's doing pretty good. We're here at Choney's for steak night, and our steaks just arrived. Nice got his over there. We already had a, other things. It was good. Now we're going to eat our steak. We're celebrating Larry's good report today. Yeah, you know, I'm talking to David and Jill. Jill has a cold and doesn't feel well. David's <coughs> on vacation. So, I'm going to... Just let you see them. You know how you get favorite slippers and they're so comfortable you don't want to give them up when they're worn out, but they're still so comfortable? Well, these right here, the bottom's coming loose. Bottom's not tight, so got out Larry's trusty spray adhesive and we'll see if we can fix them to get another six months to a year out of them if they'll stay. Because they're just so comfortable. Well, I sprayed this one and it worked really good. Now I'm going to work on the other. This one's got three different places that are bad. tripped on the stairs with them the other day, so I was afraid to wear them anymore. I had the bright idea of putting on gloves so I wouldn't get the spray on my hands. And I'm glad I did it. I think after it dries good, I'll be able to wear them. I think it's going to work. I'm still on my diet. I got one protein, one fat, and one fruit for breakfast. Now he's fixing him an egg and he's got a piece of sausage and an English muffin. I'm not really drinking the bone broth that goes with this, but I'm doing um, the other things and I've lost four pounds. Larry's taking the alligator head that he gave Steffi with him so he can have it on display when he goes to Middleton. That's an alligator that he caught. There's a little tiny camellia on my uh, daisy right there. I think you can see him. He's sitting up there soaking in the sun. We've got armadillos in our yard and digging it all up. So Larry set the trap trying to catch them. We'll see how it works out. They like to follow the board, so hopefully they'll go in there and we can catch one. We'll see in the morning. He's got the door of this little one open too, but they're right too small for them to go in. The uh, wife of our pastor in North Carolina has been sending me CDs of his Wednesday night Bible studies. So when I'm here working in the kitchen, cooking or doing dishes, and Larry's outside doing stuff, I like to listen. We have forsaken all and followed thee. So it's, I just enjoy that, so that's what I've been doing. I bought that little player especially for it. It's a good thing that I filmed the peach tree the other day with all the leaves on it being so pretty because they fell off. Now he's picking them up. He's 
feeling so much better today. It's Thursday, November the 28th, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We're on our way to Christina's to have a good meal, good company. This is a few pictures that my niece took of Thanksgiving dinner. You can see all the food there and all the folks having a good time. And then there was many, some of us were outside. It just went back and forth, some inside, some outside. That yeah. was a nice group. That's my cherry cheesecake. Cookies in there. There's no <laughs> I'll come back later then. No, no. I have, look, I only have one spot that I have not tasted yet. I need to get some. We're here at Middleton Place, where we're going to spend the next, next two nights. This is where we check in. Here we are. We're here. We've got our room. It's right back here. 313. We're waiting on meat and scum because the key doesn't want to work. This is our room before we get everything carried in. We've got a TV up there and a fireplace. A couple chairs. A couple beds. A table. It was twenty dollars cheaper by getting the twin beds. And that's a wall of windows. Those shutters all open to be all glass. This is the bathroom. Got a nice huge tub and shower. And a commode. This is the view out the window. Nice woods and the river's over there. There's the river. So it's nice. We got a fire in the fireplace going. Just enjoying sitting back and watching it. Fire's going a little better now. Almost went out once. But got it going again. So we think it's caught. Now we just need some Christmas music. It's a little before seven um, Friday morning. And we're up and about. There's the river out there. And the restaurant opens at seven, so that's it down there. The lake house. We're walking down to it. It's a little bit cool, but not too bad. Well, we got right in. Larry's got his breakfast. A, is that a blueberry muffin, I think? Yeah. And fruit and a croissant. And I got a scone and a bowl of fruit and orange juice. This early, we have the dining room to ourselves. There's all the food. This is a view out the window. There's a green pond down there. It's 9.20 and Larry's all set up. Got his stuff all out. They even gave us a tent. He's making you famous. <laughs> yeah, right. Everything okay? Everything good here? Great. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you have any concerns or needs, you come see me, okay? We sure appreciate it. All right. People all the way down through their tents. How are you? Beautiful. We're just waiting for the... Yeah. Visitors to come. Of course. I got it. I thought about I can't. That's sweet sweet grass gemstones. <laughs> this is the pasture field. When we first got here this morning there was three beautiful horses out there. Big ones look like Clydesdales. And they were kind of jumping and walking. They were pretty. But I didn't have my camera with me then. Larry's right across here from the garden market that they have. We got another fire tonight. They didn't give us any fire starter, but I picked up some pine cones today. And Larry picked up a stick. And we got fire. Here we are in the morning. This is Saturday morning, the 30th. Yeah, 
Here's a nice path. And that building right there is the one that we stayed in. It's all glass on the glass walls. They got nice hammocks between the trees. I went and got ice for the cooler and Larry's in the truck waiting on me. There's the horses. That's the ones that was running around yesterday morning. Looks so pretty before they hitched them up. There's the horses We're waiting for the next load of tourists. <laughs> it's later in the day and we're closing up. Larry already took down one table. Got one more to go. You see the sun's going lower. Walking him home. There he's all packed up. Just got that one container to put in the truck. And the tent, the canopy belongs to Middleton, so they'll go take it down. We're on our way back home. It's been a busy two weeks. We're ending up our day at Duke's Barbecue. That's a good way to end the day in two weeks. Good night. God bless. <laughs>